We are back with a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Wednesday evening, it is the 20th day of September. We're only a few days away from the start of astronomical autumn in the northern hemisphere. We've been in meteorological autumn or fall since September 1st. You know, meteorologists, climatologists, we like tidy record keeping. And uh, the first day of the month, of course, is always the same day. The astronomical seasons, there can be a little variation depending on the year. Sometimes uh, the start of summer is June 21st, sometimes it's the 20th. Uh, fall usually will start though on September the 23rd. Fall is actually our shortest season because of the late start, September 23rd, followed by the start of winter on December, usually it's the 21st. Um, so that makes it by a day or two our shortest season in the northern hemisphere all right on this uh, wednesday evening of course we put up a zero on the board today in terms of precipitation we have put up a lot of zeros uh this month with only 0.35 in the uh rain gauge at the youngstown warren airport that's 2.31 inches below the average other rain gauges across the area similar numbers now a couple of spots have had a little bit more a couple of gauges have caught over an inch or so uh, some of our heavier amounts though this month have been around in east of i-79 over in western pa but there have been many locations that have seen under a half an inch worth of rain so far in September. And assuming no rain between now and Monday, the 25th, uh, that would make it the third least amount of rain that we've seen from September 1st through September 25th on record. Uh, 1960, only a tenth of an inch, and more recently, 2009, we had 0.18 in that very bone dry month of September back in 2009. By the way, uh, the winter of 2009-2010 was an El Nino winter, like the one we're heading into this winter, but that was a cold and snowy one. The, the jury is out as to whether that will be the, the flavor of our winter. Just a reminder, in case you haven't been uh, watching my videos of late, we'll be doing our winter forecast as usual at the end of October or the first week of November. In terms of rainfall though, you know, not much to be had in the next couple of weeks. This is today's Climate Prediction Center 8 to 14 day outlook. So the last couple of days of September and the first few days of October, likely to see a continuation of the general dry pattern. A few fair weather clouds pushing in this evening. We'll call it partly cloudy for a time tonight. It'll turn out to be mostly clear towards daybreak on our Thursday. And much like last evening, there's not much going on across the country this evening. A few areas of showers, that is about it. You know, it's that time of the year where we see weather maps like this more frequently at this time of the year than a lot of our other times of the year. It tends to be a pretty benign time of the year across the lower 48 states. Uh, this is kind of a, an interesting way to look at the last month. This is what we call a scatter plot, showing uh, how our weather has broken down over the last month. Uh, the most frequent occurrence over the last month, that I haven't done a, you know, a count here, but a cool day and a cool night, uh, we've seen a lot of those kinds of days. The least frequent combo is a warm day and a cool night. But interestingly, the next handful of days will be kind of in that category. We're going to be above average temperature-wise in the afternoon, but the nights will be generally a couple of degrees cooler than average um, for the next several days. We've got some real Goldilocks weather coming our way. And what I mean by that is, uh, of course, no need for the heat for most of us. And for most of us, uh, we won't need to run the air conditioning much at all, uh, if at all. <clears throat> In the next four or five days, you can leave the windows open at night. Your house will get nice and cool. And uh, with low humidity, uh, it's not going to be you know too warm during the afternoon, even though temperatures will approach 80 over the next couple of days. We'll zoom through futurecast pretty quickly. Not much to show you with uh, benign weather through Friday. Great evening for a football Friday evening. Here's our East Coast system. And on, a, on our uh, in-house model here, it's pretty aggressive with the westward extent of the rain and even the cloud shield Saturday morning. This may be a little too far north and west based on a lot of the other modeling. I'm not sure if rain gets this far to the west. You know, it's taken literally this model would suggest it rains pretty steadily in places like Altoona and Morgantown and maybe as nearby as Pittsburgh, but I, I kind of think that's an outlier at this point. Uh, we're gonna keep a dry forecast, of course, and we're also gonna keep it mostly sunny, I think, for the upcoming weekend. So when's it gonna rain again? Uh, our next chance, anyway, is uh, next Tuesday during the day, but I think rain's a little more likely next Tuesday night into Wednesday. Uh, that will bring us uh, a decent chance, I think, for some shower activity uh, that may continue into the day on Wednesday. So about a week from right now, a cloudier, perhaps sh wetter period. That should be kind of an exception, though. Generally speaking, as I talked about earlier in the video, this generally dry pattern will continue 
for much of the next couple of weeks. Short and sweet on weather for Weather Geeks this evening with a simple forecast. Uh, tomorrow evening, as promised, uh, we are going to take a look at the longer range in a little more detail on Thursday evening. We'll talk about uh, the Climate Prediction Center's first October outlook coming up on Weather for Weather Geeks Thursday evening. Hope to see you then. Hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday night, and I thank you as always for watching.